There is one more result called the beck chevalley condition we will need before we prove a topos has finite colimits. Throughout this video, we will be assuming to be working in a topos E. Recall that 1. The pullback lemma implies that if the following diagram consists of pullback squares, then the outer square is a pullback square as well. And 2. The set of subobjects of X is naturally isomorphic to morphisms from X to the subobject classifier omega. We let M be a monomorphism. Then the composition of the membership relation and M cross 1 is a monomorphism and thus is classified by a morphism there exists M hat. Then we define the morphism there exists M as the exponential adjoint to this morphism. Why the notation there exists M? Well, in the category of sets, there exists M is the set map taking a subset E of X to the set little y in Y such that there exists an X in E such that MX is equal to Y. In other words, there exists M is the direct image assignment. We can now give the beck chevalley condition. If the following is a pullback square with monomorphisms M and N, then the following commutes. Before proving this, let's see what this looks like in the category of sets. Recall that a pullback of set maps N and G is isomorphic to the subset of the Cartesian product of Y cross Z consisting of elements little y, little z, such that g, y is equal to n, z, with f and m being the obvious projections. Taking a subset E of z, the direct image of n is the set of little w in w, such that there exists a z in E, such that n, z is equal to w. The inverse image of g of this set is a set little y in y such that there exists a z in e such that n z is equal to g y. While the inverse image of f of e is a set of pairs little y little z in the fiber product such that z is in e. And this is equivalent to the set of pairs little y little z in the product y cross z such that little z is in e and n z is equal to g y. Then the direct image of the projection, M, gives us the set little y and y such that there exists a z and e such that nz is equal to gy, as desired. Therefore, the beck chevalley condition holds in the category of sets. Now let's prove this for a general topos. First, let's determine what the exponential adjoints are to the two diagonal morphisms in the second diagram above. Consider the exponential adjoint of PG, there exists N. The following diagram commutes by the definition of PG and the definition of there exists N, showing that the exponential adjoint to PG, there exists N, is there exists N hat G cross 1. Also, it is easy to see that the exponential adjoint to there exists M PF is there exists M hat 1 cross pf by the definition of there exists m. Therefore, it is enough to show that these two characteristic morphisms are equal. So we construct the subobjects classified by each. Consider the following diagram where the right rectangle is a pullback by definition of there exists n. The top left is a pullback by definition and the bottom left is a pullback because it is a product of a pullback. Similarly, this next diagram has the right rectangle, a pullback by definition of there exists m, the top left square by definition, and the bottom left square is easily seen to be a pullback since this is true for any composition of products of morphisms as the double star green diagram shows. Therefore, by 1 above, each outside square is a pullback, and thus E1 and E2 are the subobjects of Y cross PZ classified by there exist N hat G cross 1 and there exist M hat 1 cross PF, respectively.
Therefore, it is enough to show that E1 is equal to E2 as subobjects of X cross PZ. So consider the following diagram, which has the right-hand square, a pullback by definition of the membership relation, and the left is a pullback by the definition we gave above. Therefore, E1 is classified as a subobject of X cross Z by evaluation on Z F cross 1. And similarly, E2 is classified as a subobject of X cross PZ by evaluation on X1 cross PF. But these classifying morphisms are equal by definition of PF. Therefore, E1 is isomorphic to E2 and are therefore equal as subobjects of X cross PZ as desired. Then, as a corollary, we have for each monomorphism M, PM, there exists M, is equal to the identity on PX. For the proof, M is mono if and only if the following is a pullback. Thus, by beck chevalley the following commutes, but there exists identity is equal to the identity on PX, which is in turn equal to P on the identity. Thus, PM, there exists M, is the identity on Px.